Okay, how's it going YouTube? Now, this is the second part to my video about the roof racks. Now unfortunately I couldn't film the part of me putting it on the car because that would be impossible to film while doing it without help. So, now you get to see on each side, I don't know if you can see that, that says right rear, this says front rear, and on the opposite sides it says front left and then uh, front rear, I mean rear left. So then in the instructions, which I'll just pull out for you guys. Okay. So putting it on the car is a simple part. Now, when you're looking at the instructions, there's these little latches on the back. Now, the little latches on the back are actually quite small. They're right there. You can see those are the two points which you have to latch into for your for the for the rubber. Now on the inside, just there. You can see that little hole? That's where this links up to, right here. And what you have to do is you have to push it down after twisting this all the way out. You have to push it down, straight down, and then up. And then, as you can see, it's pretty secure. If you don't, and you don't secure it properly, you may be pulling on the plastic part. See that bending out? That's not supposed to happen. Let's see. see that? That's not in properly. All the way down and back, nothing. Nothing's moving. Now you have to do that for all four pieces. Each one of them has the same locking mechanism in the back, and they all have to be bolted down the same way. If not, this thing will just come off. Or even worse, you're gonna bend this plastic part right here, and it leads all the way down the length of the vehicle. So that would probably be pretty bad. Well, the best part that I like about this is it'll leave room if you open your sunroof. There's like two inches clearance there, so if you open it, you're fine. Now when I come back to you, I'm going to show you the locked up part. And there you have it. The roof rack. On the car. Shimmy through here. So this is with all of them latched in. Just to give you an idea how strong these things really are. That was me shaking it just from the twisting tightening from the roof. And they're all they're all tight. And actually, in my opinion, it makes it look a little sportier. If, it ha if I had the roof rails with this car, you can get ones that are silver, but the ones that are silver, bless you. <laughs> uh, the ones that are silver are a little uh, bent. For more aerodynamics, they claim but I find it'd be harder to mount bikes onto it because you're not on a flat plane, right? So you'll, you'll have to balance the bikes and make sure that they're evenly leveled, which I'm gonna do anyway with these ones, but um, I much prefer them the flat ones rather than having a little curve. Sportier doesn't also, also mean uh, safer, <laughs> but it's Volvo, so you know it's gonna be 100% safe. And then uh, for me, it'll be a few, uh, well, a little while because the weather outside right now is still pretty gloomy out there. That's why I'm inside the garage. But for you guys it'll be like three seconds. For me it'll be a f tomorrow where I'm gonna put the bike rack on top. Now this is the continuation of 
the bike racks. I've already gone ahead and put it on beforehand just to make sure that A, it worked, and B, that I wouldn't potentially destroy my car just so I could put a video on YouTube about, <laughs> about how to putting it on the car. Granted, I couldn't put it on the first time. One, it's, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just dumb. But you see these pins, you get what you have to do to start off with. This one's already locked in place. So you have to thread these little O clamp, U clamps, I guess you could call them, right here. You thread them through that hole before you put it on top. If you don't, it won't fit across. For example, if you look here, neither of them are threaded on, so I can freely move this. But if you're trying to thread this on while it's on top, you'll hit this bar, and I don't know if you can see it, but I pretty gouged that side trying trying to do it but uh after you after you thread these little u u clamps through put this little well as you can see in the little clip i put before of the tools there are these little i don't know what you call them i'm not a tool expert but they have little holes in them which you thread this little pin through to allow this to lock onto it like that and then you tighten it and then on here this one has the lock on it here so that no one can just take your bike rack while it's locked on. And a cool feature as well, this one here, the actual locking bar that hooks up to the chassis, like I said before, has a lock for it itself. So no one not only can steal the bike rack, but they can't steal the bike, which is a cool feature. Now the next step, which I've already pre-started, over here, you've got these, zip ties that are rather large, but they're not zip ties. <laughs> Again, don't know the full name for it, but you zip it in. There's an example of the click. And it comes with these little rubber stoppers. Now these are for when you put your actual bike on the, the rack itself, you put this where the tire is. So that way when this is clamped down, it's not clamping exactly from here. This not only is more stable, but it doesn't leave any, any grooves when you're strapping down the bike and then this goes into the other side. I'm not going to put it in right now because I'm not putting a bike on there. But once we've got this clamped down, I'll uh, come back to you. Okay, and now, locked it in place and this made it square right there and right here to make sure it's in line. And this, as you can tell, I am shaking the car. It ain't moving. So what I did was I haven't locked these ones in place just to give you an example. So you have to make sure you hold this pin on the bottom because when you're tightening it, this won't be able to reach back down once it's fully tightened. So, like that. So, put this down for a second. Put your finger on the bottom. Hold it like this. And then twist the top one. So this one you twist like that until it locks in place and then this one will make a really big snap. And when I mean really big snap, I mean a really loud one. Here's an example of one that I've fully tightened. That tightness is what you're looking for. Nothing less. The last thing you want the first thing to do is to come off while with bikes on it. I'm pretty sure that would be horrific. Okay, and then the hard part will be coming up next when I show you how to uh, <laughs> put a bike up here. Yes, I know mine's so light you can put it on top of the car. Come on, let me move out of the way. What are you doing? I'm f <laughs> Get out of the shot! I'm putting, I'm setting it all up for you. you don't, that doesn't have a kickstand! Oh. Yeah, bum. Okay, sorry about that. So, <laughs> so once it's fully secure, you thread these on. These need to be... Well, they don't need to be. They can be on this side, on that side too. But you gotta make sure that this is the end piece because this threads down and you see this little flat part here? This is what ends up going over the tire with the help of this on the tire itself. And then you gotta move your arm. First you gotta unlock it. And then once you've unlocked it, yeah, move it up into the, whoop, move it up into the upstanding position. And then if you can see up there, as you turn this, down but when it's unlocked you want it as big as possible so you can put it up there and then I'll show you what it looks like once I've uh, put it up
Okay, so for you guys, this will have been one second. For me, this was about 45 minutes of trying to put these frigging things on. So in the end, what happened is these can slide. So you put the zip ties with the little rubber clamp over top so that's stable. So this isn't moving. This one can also move in the front. So that one you put the same way with the little rubber thing. This locks into place around the main chassis, like I said. But the problem is, because they're not built for like, ones for the left side, ones for the right side, this one was a pain in the ass to put in for two reasons. One, so I was using this little stool here to put it up, but even then, your center of gravity is right over the front of the car, and guess what? The roof likes to flex. You don't want to put a bike on your roof. Secondly, this, well, my bike, because this is a lightweight bike with a lightweight frame, unfortunately, the actual tube for the chassis is very small. So small, in fact, this Titan fully does not clamp over top. It, it just doesn't. This is clamped over my water bottle holder, which is firmly in place. So this won't move. But what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to buy a piece of rubber or put some tape over here or something so that it gives it more weight because this one's see it's so tightened so that doesn't move that's kind of splitting it's meant to but at the same time I don't like that but it's not gonna move and also awkward trying to get to this latch with this control arm in the way when trying to put the bike up that's a that's a design flaw in my opinion it's cool looking but not very practical from the other side luckily mine my bike weighs not even a fifth of what that Walmart bike weighs <laughs> Yeah, Kona King Supreme. But yeah, now that it's all done, it it's not moving anywhere. But I don't know about you, but I think I'm ready to go for a ride. Talk to you later, YouTube. Keep it real. Mm -hmm.